Let us now turn our attention to India's Jammu and Kashmir, where the security forces have started a number of operations to dismantle the network of Pak back terrorism. Islamabad is making desperate attempts to launch infiltration bits in the region. However, Indian Army, with the help of Jammu and Kashmir police, is putting an end to these terrorists with a commitment to upholding peace and tranquility in the area. A report. The neighboring country of Pakistan and its proxies have made repeated attempts to disturb the peace in the Jammu and Kashmir region. Terrorists are being given funds and training so they may sneak into Jammu and Kashmir and assault security personnel and civilians. However, observant Indian security forces consistently thwart infiltration attempts and eliminate terrorists in Jammu and Kashmir, putting a stop to Islamabad's nefarious efforts. Recently, the Indian Army foiled a major infiltration attempt by Pak-backed terrorists along the line of control in Poonch sector. This is the third incident of infiltration bid in recent weeks. Two bids were earlier foiled in the North Kashmir district of Kupwara on October 26 and 31. The troops had neutralized one terrorist each while foiling both the infiltration bits. In this operation, there two AK-74 rifles, four magazines, 43 rounds, one Chinese origin pistol, one magazine and seven rounds, एक बैग मिला जिसमें क्लेम और माइन थी कुछ तार थी बैटरी थी पाकिस्तान में बनी सिगरेट का पैकेट था और कुछ नारकोटिक्स थी जो टेररिस्ट ने अपने ही कंजम्पशन के लिए रखा था साथ में एक एसएमजी हथियार की मैक्सिम भी फॉर द इंडियन सोल्जर्स एट दिस फ्रंटियर इट्स अ बैटल that has to be fought on two fronts, hostile neighbor and harsh winter, which is approaching. While the infiltration has remained largely under control so far this year, the possibility of Pakistan would return its old ways of making increased attempts to sneak more terrorists ahead of the winter. Besides infiltration of terrorists, the Indian Army is also worried about the flow of drugs from across the border. As per the Ministry of Home Affairs, there has been more than 75% decrease in net infiltration from across the border between 2018 and 2021 and more than 80% reduction in the number of terrorist incidents during the same period. Despite such efforts by the security forces, in eliminating those infiltrating the line of control, the drug menace has not abated. In order to target youths and channeling finance for Pakistan-backed terror activities, Islamabad is using narco-terrorism as a new weapon in its proxy war against India in the Kashmir Valley. What I understand is that the, um, the terrorists or their handlers in Pakistan, they have changed the trick. They are getting these new types of attackers, one time, first timers. So what happens normally when somebody has a track record, then the agencies are able to track them down, look at the activities. But when newer and newer people are being recruited, radicalized and are deployed to take action like these kind of attacks that happen, this is a desperate attempt in my view by the terrorists or their countries which have ulterior motives uh, to somehow create a panic in India. Pakistan's efforts to undermine normalcy in Jammu and Kashmir, particularly after the August 2019 constitutional reforms, is rooted in its decades-long proxy war against India. Its diplomatic efforts, both bilaterally as well as raising the issue at various international fora, have been limited to malign India and to portray that bilateral approach 
have failed. Islamabad must end material support for terrorism in Kashmir if regional peace is to be assured.